ahead. It's going on, Governor. It's G-School here, and today we're going to talk about Osman the First, who does big, big damage. If you like Commander Guides, you should definitely like and subscribe, because we're going to cover literally every single commander in the game, and we are a sponsored creator for Rise of Civilizations. Now, when we do a Commander Guide, we look at the skills, we look at the talents, we then talk about how you can unlock the commander, and then we look at all of the optimal pairings, which is my favorite part. So let's get cracking on these skills and refresh ourselves on exactly what they do. The primary skill does a direct damage factor of max 850. Yeah, they are all about doing big damage. The second skill is kind of curious. After attacking a city for more than 30 seconds, increase troop attack by uh, an upwards of 15% for a duration of 120 seconds. Now, when are you attacking a city for longer than 30 seconds, but less than 180 seconds? I mean, I guess if you've got a reinforced rally, where it's only getting reinforced once or twice, then it'll last longer than 30 seconds, but less than 180 seconds, or not 180, 150 seconds. I swear I can do math. Anyways, I don't know. Doesn't matter. I, I'm not in love with this skill, and I struggle with it, but for a longer rally, it is kind of interesting. The next skill is Sword of Osman. After an active skill is used, deal additional damage, damage factor of 400, to the target on the next turn. Now, I wonder if this works for the primary commander and the secondary commander, in which case, wow, that's a lot of damage. I'm going to assume it only works for the primary commander, but if you've got a damage report with that, leave it in the comments for me. I'd love to see it. The next skill is Sultan's Glory, increasing the troop capacity by 10%. This is great for open field, basically irrelevant if you've got a rally, because you can fill the rally anyways, I would assume, um, but really good in the open field. The final skill is the Expertise skill, which elevates the damage of Rising Empire uh, to 1,100. Now, this is kind of curious that it's only increasing the damage factor by 250, because when we look at Boudicca's expertise skill, this is increasing the damage by a solid 400. So I think what's happening here is a gaming concept called min-maxing, and that is when you have skills and abilities that focus on doing one thing very, very well, it is common that it comes at a cost. You get less total stat and damage and goodness allocation to those skills because they do more of one and one thing only. That said, I really do think the expertise skill ought to be maybe a little more damage here, but that's what it does. With that said, it's clear that this commander is pretty darn good in the open field. Pair him with someone who's doing a lot of damage, and I think you're cooking with gas. There's also a little bit of a boost when you're attacking a city, particularly with a swarm, I suppose. Maybe? I don't know. Um, and I think that's also cool. If you're going to be using this commander and maxing out their skills, I would start by maxing out the first skill, then take them all the way up to four stars, and hope that none of your skill points go in this second skill. I don't want to see them go there. With that said, one way you could do that without actually leveling them up a whole heck of a lot is to max out the first skill, then unlock the second star, level them up to 20, then use a bunch of special stars to try to get a crit that takes you all the way up to four stars. Let's get a look at the talents, and this commander I think is really, really interesting. I'm very interested in the skill tree for this commander because, look, they've got a high damage skill attack, so that's where I want to put most of the points. If you're using a mixed army, and you can with this commander, I would make my way first over to Rejuvenate, then to Feral Nature. I think that with a commander like this, you really should be looking at something like Naked Rage to max out that damage. And I also will be making my way over very, very rapidly to Strategic Prowess, in part for the March speed that you get along the way, and the Rage Restoration. And unfortunately, talents like Healing Herbs aren't going to get you anywhere. That said, Fresh Recruits is something you can pick up if you're doing open field combat, and I would say should pick up for the open field. 
if you're leading rallies against player cities, then I do recommend the tier of blessing all the way down to the top of the tree here, ignoring thoroughbreds and well provisioned. I would then make my way over probably to rejuvenate to try to get full advantage of rage restoration and doing additional damage. If what you want to do is lead rallies in the Ark of Osiris, then in that case, I will be making my way to Name of the King, potentially picking up Arm to the Teeth and Armor to the Teeth off to the side, but not before, first having picked up Rejuvenate for that sweet, sweet Rage restoration. One final build you could do for open field combat is you could make your way up to strategic prowess, you could make your way up to close formation, you could rock a mixed army, and then get Rejuvenate. I think that's fine, but... I think that the full skill tree is probably more exciting to me. So with all of those builds out of the way, where do you unlock this commander? This commander can be found in the gold and silver keys. You're going to have to unlock them that way. You also can occasionally get sculptures in the expedition. I've seen these show up in the rotating six slots uh, underneath the weekly rewards. Now, those weekly rewards rotate epic commanders, but I've never seen this commander in that rotation, so I don't think you can get them there. Now, after you have them unlocked, you can, of course, use your universal sculptures to further skill them up. Now comes, of course, for my favorite part of the video, which is the pairings, and oh my goodness, there's a lot of pairings with Osman, because look, he just does big damage. He just does big damage. I think you could potentially bring full infantry and pair with Richard I, use Osman as the primary, rock the skill tree to get that rage restoration going, which is going to give you a lot of healing from Richard I as well. You can pair with Minamoto using either as the primary, uh, and you can get a ton of Rage Restoration. If you use Minamoto as the primary rock full cavalry, I think that's really strong. Same is true with Cao Cao. One additional consideration is to use Charles Martel as the primary. That way you get that damage shield going, and then you get huge nukes on Osman. You could also flip it around, use the skill tree on Osman. I think it's a good pairing. If you are attacking player cities, I think Julius Caesar is kind of interesting as the pairing. You'd use Julius Caesar as the primary, profoundly elevate the damage on the uh, primary skill from Osman. You could use El Cid as a pairing, and I think it's actually pretty legit. Rockful archers, and you can do a ton of damage. Invest in the skill tree and probably the archer tree, and I think that's very, very powerful. Frederick I is an interesting pairing. You would bring a mixed army. In this case, the same is true with Caesar, by the way. Bring a mixed army. Enjoy the fact that you're bringing lots of different types of troops. And you've got some amount of healing here, which I think now gives you some benefit to healing herbs, which is what we had talked about earlier. You could use Yi Sung Ye for the open field. I would probably use... Hmm, who is the primary? Guess it doesn't much matter who is the primary. You get the skill tree and archer tree from Yi Song Ye. So that's probably who you use as the primary is Yi Song Ye. Um, and you could do huge damage with Destiny massively increasing the damage that both of them are dealing. Love the pairing. Love the pairing. If you rock Hannibal Barca and use a mixed army, use Hannibal as the primary. Rock the defense down, then get the big hit as the follow-up from Osman. Another great pairing, and there's a lot of them because, look, Osman is a very flexible commander like Boudicca. Mehmet II is a great choice. Mehmet is increasing the skill damage. If you're doing rallies against cities in particular, you get a huge, huge bonus here from the rallied army capacity and the third skill having huge relevance for that combat. At the epic tier, you could pair with Boudicca. I would use Osman as the primary because the integration tree is not all that exciting. If you do use Boudicca as the primary, you'd want to be invested in the skill tree and peacekeeping for movement. If you rock full archers, you could go with Kusunoki. Rock Kusunoki as the primary for archer talent and skill tree to supplement. If you are in the open field, I think CPO is an exceptional pairing because it's going to elevate even further the number of troops that you're bringing paired with an army expansion. You're talking about a huge number of troops. That said, I think there's a little bit of anti-synergy with the damage reduction on military life. 
Flipping that around a little bit, there is, of course, a chance that Patient Warrior profoundly ele elevates the damage that Osman does, which I think is pretty good. Overall, you've got a more balanced and tanky unit by bringing Sepio, and I think that's okay. A commander you could bring is Joan of Arc. Not my first choice because she, she doesn't do skill damage, and you really want to have a lot of skill damage um, in your pairing with Osman as the primary. That said, if you rock Joan of Arc as the primary, rocking a full support tree, you get a ton of rage restoration and area of effect slow. I think the pairing's actually more than meets the eye and could be kind of interesting. Pelagius, I think, is a fine pairing. Bring full cavalry. Use Pelagius as the primary for the cavalry tree and the skill tree. Belisarius, I think, is also a fine pairing, giving Osman much mo uh, much needed movement speed. Use full cavalry, but, you know, I really like the skill tree a lot. I would consider using, uh, well, hmm... I'm struggling here because I like the defense down from from Belisarius. I guess either of them could be the primary. I might lean toward Belisarius because um, you could have the full cavalry tree. You could get some additional mobility from both peacekeeping and the mobility tree. And you hit with the defense reduction, then hit with your big skill damage from Osman. Olji Mundok is a good pairing. I'd use Olji as the primary to get the defense reduction. You could use the attack tree and the infantry tree. That said, if you flip it around and use Osman as the primary, you get more rage generation. Both are good. Same story with Sun Tzu. I love the infantry tree and the skill tree as the pairing. Use Sun Tzu as the primary. Rock full infantry and smash with effectiveness. This is an AoE pairing as well, which I really, really like. And even if you don't bring full infantry, look, very little of Master Strategist requires you to have full infantry. So even if you've only got some infantry, I think it's a great pairing. If you use Herman, use him as the primary. Rock the Archer Tree and the Skill Tree, great pairing. And one of the last ones that I want to look at is Bybars. They are a great pairing together because they both do a ton of skill damage. They both also care a lot about attacking cities. And... You get some mobility here from Bybars, which I think is really, really great. If I were picking them as a pairing, I would do Bybars as the primary, Rockful Cavalry and Skill Tree. Some combination of those is really, really great. Um, you could go full Cavs, you could go full Skill Tree. Either of those trees maxed out is exceptional. Overall, with Osman, we're talking about a commander that can do huge amounts of damage. You can bring him to City Attacks. In my opinion, you must be in the early game if you're using him for attacking a city because it really should be your strongest players that are leading those rallies, and I would expect that they've got legendary commanders in very, very good positions. So you're probably in the early game if it involves an epic commander, but if it is in the early game, then this is a fine one to bring to that combat. I hope you find this guy to be helpful. Let me know how you're using this commander in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you learn something new. And until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom.